amp it up. It's Skylander Saturday! Hey, what's going on, Portal Masters? Robert Wuffman here from Coinot TV. Gonna be talking a little bit about Skylander Swamp Force as a special treat. I got Tara Platt with me, the voice of Skylander Swamp Force Punk Shock. Amp it up! Amp it up! So we put up some gameplay, we're gonna put up some gameplay of Terra playing Punk Shock in the game. Then I thought, you know, let's just do a little Q&A, a little chat so you can see what she looks like, talk about some of her projects. Uh, let's let's see the figure. Show us Punk Shock. Isn't she so cute? <laughs> so what did you, what do you think? You see her in the I finish I love her. Now? I love her little, like, water gun thing that she can shoot out stuff with, and I just think she's super adorable. And this is the, kind of the first time you're seeing, like, the yeah. finished product. Yeah, no, I haven't seen her. When I actually went in to record, uh, when we were in the session, because I, you know, when you go in to record something like this, they only bring you in for, like, a two-hour session at max, because you don't have that much dialogue, and so you just go in. So when I showed up to the session, they had a little prototype of what she was going to look like on the counter, and so they showed that to me, and I was like, oh, she's so cute. <laughs> but at the time, I actually didn't realize that these are, like, shoes that she's got on those little gold oh, yeah. sort of boots. I thought those were just that she had big feet, because I thought she was, like, amphibian Maybe. with large feet or something. Maybe those are insulating her from being shocked in the water and the electricity I or something. like your thoughts because I was a little concerned about this whole water and electricity <laughs> and how this is going to work with kids. I don't know that that's such a good idea but I'm glad that they've decided to go with Punk Shock because I think she's cool. So let's talk about some of the other things you yeah. do. Uh, so Shelf Life mm -hmm. is a web series that's been going on. It's it's you and Yuri who's also a very talented voice actor. And he's also in Skylanders. Yeah, we we're showing her some of the Southpaw uh, the level at the end with Isn't Skylanders. Cute. So she has, she is, so Yuri and her, they both do voice acting and Yuri Lowenthal. Guys, you know him from like Ben 10 and a lot of other things, but he's Southpaw. It's true. Is Southpaw is his more, most important role. That's the one he talks about, right? Yeah, he, he always talks, about, yeah, he only talks, he talks in the voice that he did Southpaw. Special Agent 321, designation Southpaw at your service. So they have a web series they've, yeah. they've been producing together, Shelf Life, um, seasons 1, 2, 3, 4 available, and, and Tara brought her hero last figure, which is a prototype? Yeah, well, what we did is this is the actual Hero Last that we shot with when we did the action figure versions of the show, because once we got into season four, we were doing um, sort of both live action versions mm -hmm. and the action figures. So we would put her in location and then shoot to that sort of as a screen for the what we were doing at, in our costumes. So she's a one of a kind. Um, we made them for all the all the figures, meaning Hero, Last Bug Boy, uh, Samurai Snake, and Hero Man, and Black Velvet. We all had the sort of six inch. I guess that's sort of a six inch figurine. Um, they were custom made for us by Paul Pape, which many people online know. Uh -huh. He does a lot of sort of cool, geeky, awesome action figures. So. And just to give her some perspective, so Shelf Life is a series about toys coming or living like living breathing toys yeah like, kind of like is it kind of like toy story influenced you know i would say it's as if toy story were on crack so it's not really <laughs> for kids to watch it's much more for adults to yeah, watch some adult, adult themed episodes it's a little more adult themed we curse a lot <laughs> um but uh but it's a lot of fun and it's silly and it takes that idea that conceit that you've got these action figures that are observing everything they see around them but they're just stuck up on the shelves during the day and they can't move so they're sort of frozen while people are in the room, and then as soon yeah. as people leave the room, they all sort of get they to have alive. their own experience and come to life. Why isn't he trying to get out? I, I don't know. Maybe he's asleep? Or dead. <gasps> uh, let's see, before we wrap it up, um, you know, as, like, as an as a experienced, talented voice actor, um, you know, is there is there a, like a tip or something you can throw out there? Like something like yes. if somebody when it gets into things? Yes. If you are at all interested in becoming an actor or a voice actor, start reading aloud every day because that's a lot of our job is being able to read to performance level from any kind of information that we're picking up off the page. So the more comfortable you are with picking up words, hearing your voice aloud, and actually being able to make sense of something in a character, it's really going to help you. So just read aloud. It's something free that you can do every day, and it not only improves your reading skills, which I think are important mm -hmm. skills to just have as people, but it also really can help you if you're going to look at this as a career. Awesome. Good good stuff. Now I want to plug your uh, is, is the YouTube channel, your website? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just started that um, <laughs> earlier this year. Oh, technically I had started my YouTube channel last year, I think. 
um, but I've actually started posting videos well, on it. Well, you got your own personal one, so Shelf Life is on the Shelf Life yes. the Series YouTube channel. Yes, and but now I have my one. own. So uh, it's TerraTube, which I think is actually youtube.com slash Terra Platt, I think, or the Terra Platt. I'm bad at this. <laughs> um, you would think I would know. I will tell you so you can put the little thing yeah, across put, the bottom of the screen the so we can actually get it right. But um, I've been doing something that I call the 365 Project that I started on Valentine's Day. And it's kind of interesting, but every day I have to write something I love about myself on this big giant outline of myself on a piece of paper. Uh -huh. And it's been really interesting. And then I talk about what's happened during the week and other people that are doing this, their same 365 project based on me having done mine and we sort of go back and forth and that's kind of cool. Very cool, sounds fun. And then do you know the, U uh, the URL for your website? Yes, my own website is terraplat.com and you can link to TerraTube on terraplat.com but I call it TerraTube but I don't think that's actually the name of it when you go to YouTube. <laughs> but I haven't been promoting it's that so that's confusing. probably why I don't have it in my head because you know when you're promoting something it's easy to go, oh shelflifetheseries.com or you know, you can. it's easy to know websites and URLs when you use them. Well there it is, Portal Masters, the voice of Skylanders, Punk Shock, uh, make sure you check out some of our stuff and we'll uh, make sure you also check out the gameplay video we put up uh, together and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Sounds good. Bye.